If a child were truly hurting or in need, what parent wouldn't answer their child's cry? Today, Dr. Brad Winninger will share with us how God does hear our cries and he answers. Welcome to From the Shepherd to the Sheep, our daily devotionals, and uh, it's so good to have you here today. My name is Tyler Candy, I'm the media director here, and we are in a subscription campaign, and so we would really like your help in uh, increasing the subscriptions here on our channel. If you would, share this video and our channel with others around you, uh, share them with your friends and your family, and let's increase our subscription count. Just ask them to subscribe to our channel by hitting that subscribe button, and then also you can in encourage them to hit the notification bell icon so they can be notified when we post new content. And we'll thank you for it. Now, now let's listen as Dr. Brad Winninger tells us about how God hears our cries and answers them too. I was feeling mighty lonely in the valley of despair. There is no applause for a noble cause when there's no one there to care. Then I turned around and I saw him and I wondered what he'd do. He said, Here's my hand, child, you took your stand. And I asked him, who are you? He said, I'm the fourth man in the fire. I'm the one who stood by Paul. I'm the one who shut the lion's mouth and made Goliath fall. When it all comes right down to the wire, your backs against the wall by my blood I've won your victory child you only have to call if the battle that you're fighting has you feeling all alone deep inside you ache like your heart might break and you weary to the bone You can turn around and you'll see him Oh, I tell you what he'll do He'll extend his hand For you took your stand Then you can ask him Who are you? And he'll say I'm the fourth man in the fire I'm the one who stood by Paul I'm the one who shut the lion's mouth and I made Goliath fall when it all comes right down to the wire and your back's against the wall by my blood I've won your victory child you only have to call I'm the fourth man in the fire I'm the one that stood by Paul one who shut the lion's mouth and I made the lion's fall. But when it all comes right down to the wire and your back's against the wall, by my blood I've won your victory. Child, you only have to call. By my blood I've won your victory. Child, you only have to call. You only have to call. Why? Because of who he is. Because he's the fourth man in the fire. Because he's the one who stood by Paul. Because he's the one who shut the lion's mouth for Daniel. He's the one who made Goliath fall for David. That's why. It's because of who he is. In Jeremiah 33 and verse 3, the prophet says, Call unto me, call unto the Lord, and I will answer thee and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. We can't even begin to imagine what God has in store for those who will trust Him and will believe Him by faith. A by faith life is what we need. A by faith marriage. A by faith uh, child rearing. A by faith education. A by faith service. That's it. We have no idea what God is going to do, but we believe 
what? In Him. We know what He's done before. We believe He'll do it again. We believe He'll do it for us. And as the song I've just sung, child, you only have to call. You only have to call. Call upon me and I will answer thee. He's promised it. We've got His Word. Let's pray. Father, we're taking you at your word through the pen of Jeremiah who was inspired to write, call upon me. And so we're calling upon you right now. We're calling upon you for your help. We're calling upon you for your intervention. We, we need you right now, Lord. Please do something. With heads bowed and eyes closed, those right now that have never been saved need to call upon him for salvation. If you would right now, pray from your heart, dear God, I admit that I'm a sinner. I need a Savior. And right now I receive Christ as my personal Savior. Please take away my sins and take me to heaven when I die. If you've received Christ as your Savior, won't you let us know? Lord Jesus has promised that He'll never leave us nor forsake us. If you're a soul winner, share that good news with us. And right now let's pray about some impossible situations. Let's pray for something that's so big and so great that only God's intervention can make a difference. Lord, I pray for the sick, those with terminal illnesses. May they claim from you either healing or grace to go on home to be with you. And Lord, I pray for those right now who have impossible circumstances on their job or in their family or in their neighborhood or in their life. Lord, whatever it may be, I pray that you'll answer as you have answered in the past. We call upon you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. I'm the fourth man in the fire I'm the one who stood by Paul I'm the one who shut the lion's mouth And I made Goliath fall When it all comes right down to the wire And your back's against the wall By my blood I've won your victory Child, you only have to call by my blood I've won your victory, child, you only have to call. God bless you as you trust Him today. You are listening to From the Shepherd to the Sheep Daily Devotionals. This is a ministry of Central Baptist Church in Woodbridge, Virginia. If you would like to learn more about our ministries, You can find us online at cbcwoodbridge.org. You will also find many other helpful resources there, including preaching, devotionals, and songs. We thank you for listening to this devotional, From the Shepherd to the Sheep.